types of cellular movements in gastrulation what we shall learn today is number 1 invaginations involutions ingression delamination and epiboli let's start invagination in folding of sheet of cells exactly like the poking of a rubber or tennis ball with finger cell move inward as whole layer and create a groove like structure just like this examples of such movements involve endodermis of sea urchin during embryogenesis or development second is involution expanding outer layer of cells move inward on either side to cover its own layer of cells internally examples movements in amphibian mesoderm produce new layers inside as a result of involution ingression movement of individual cells from surface to interior of embryo separately to become mesenchyme cells that movement is totally independent and separate individually examples of such movements involve mesoderm of sea urchin and neuroblast of drosophila delamination splitting of one layer of cells to form two or more parallel new layers internally is referred as delamination examples of such movements involve formation of hypoblast in birds and mammals embryos epiboli the most asked in the exams movement of epidermis or epithelial cells to cover inner layers of cells is termed as epiboli it occurs by cell division or shape changing or intercalation of cells or mix of all these three examples of epiboli involve formation of ectoderm in sea urchin tunicates and amphibians